Someone else. Someone else. Les Hardacre felt sick to the pit of his stomach as he stood there, trying his level best to summon the right words. As a 68-year-old man, a part of Les felt that falling in love was a younger man's game. However, Les hadn't felt like this in such a long time. Trying to explain things to Bethany, Les's wife of 43 years, was one of the hardest things he'd ever had to do. He felt the sun on his face as the tears welled in his eyes. His shoulders were slumped and he stared down at his feet. Les stuttered the words, I, I, I'm sorry, Beth, but, but she, just, she just makes me feel like I matter again. A long, awkward silence passed. Bethany loved Les with an honesty and a gentleness which only ever wanted what was best for him. This was a part of the reason why Les felt so damn treacherous now. Thunder rolled softly in the distance as another of the quite regular summer afternoon storms started to draw upon the elements in order to manifest itself into being. Just as the first drops of rain began to fall, so too did the first of Les Hardacre's tears. The silence which continued to pass between them was no longer awkward, but instead it was more of a deep understanding which communicated more than mere words ever could. I will always love you, Beth, said Les tenderly just as the heavens began to open. Les then slowly bent down and placed the daisies that he held gently upon Bethany's grave. He stayed kneeling like that for a moment or two, there in the cemetery and out in the rain, before he slowly stood and turned and walked back to the car.